Sodium valport or valport sodium is the sodium salt of valproic acid and is an anticonvulsant used in the treatment of epilepsy, anorexia nervosa, panic attack, anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, migraine and bipolar disorder, as well as other psychiatric conditions requiring the administration of a mood stabilizer. Sodium valport can be used to control acute episodes of mania and acute stress reaction. Side effects can include tiredness, tremors, nausea, vomiting and sedation. The intravenous formulations are used when oral administration is not possible. In pregnancy, Valport has the highest risk of birth defects of any of the commonly used anti-epilepsy drugs. However, some epilepsy can only be controlled by Valport, and seizures also pose grave risk to mother and child. Some of the common adverse effects include tiredness, tremor, sedation and gastrointestinal disturbances. In addition, about 10% of the users experience reversible hair loss. The oral form is the only form available in the U.S. Safety in pregnancy, the risk of birth defects with Valport is two to five times higher than other frequently used anti-epileptic drugs. Children born to mothers using Valport have significantly lower IQ scores. However, some epilepsy can only be controlled by Valport, and seizures during pregnancy can have grave consequences for both mother and child. Doctors recommend women who intend to become pregnant should be switched to a different drug using combined therapy if possible, which takes several months. Women who are already pregnant and taking high doses of Valport should try to lower their doses. All anti-epileptic medications have been shown to be associated with higher risks of fetal abnormalities since at least 1983, with the risks being related to the strength of medication used and use of more than one drug. Valport has also been recognized as sometimes causing a specific facial change termed fetal Valport syndrome. Sodium Valport has been associated with a rare condition paroxysmal tonic up gaze of childhood, also known as Ervia Bilson syndrome, from childhood or fetal exposure this condition resolved after discontinuing Valport therapy. While developmental delay is usually associated with altered physical characteristics, this is not always the case. A 2005 study found rates of autism among children exposed to sodium valproate before birth in the cohort studied were 8.9%. The normal incidence for autism in the general population is estimated at less than 1%. Valproate may best be avoided in women with localization epilepsy, where more effective and less risky alternatives, such as carbamazepine, are available. A 2008 study also suggested a correlation between higher rates of autism in children whose mothers were treated for seizure disorders during pregnancy using sodium valproate. However, only 632 children were followed in this study, prompting criticism that this study was too small to determine whether a definitive correlation existed between the use of sodium valproate in pregnant mothers and higher autism rates in their children or whether other antisadism medications used during pregnancy may cause this effect. One multicenter trial in the UK and US compared cognitive function in 309 children born to mothers with epilepsy. It found sodium valproate use was associated with an IQ level 8 points lower in children born to mothers taking sodium valproate than mothers taking other anti-epileptic drugs. The authors of the study attempted to correct for confounding factors, but this was an observational study, so could not prove a causal link. Proving a causal link requires a randomized controlled trial, which is not ethical to perform. Stronger evidence likely will not become available. A class action lawsuit is currently underway in the United Kingdom regarding the claim that the drug used in pregnancy caused a range of problems in children, including autism, learning and social difficulties, ADHD, spinal stenosis facial abnormalities, vision defects, dyslexia, developmental coordination disorder, and delayed speech and motor development. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration uses a pregnancy category system to classify the possible risks to a fetus when a specific medicine is taken during pregnancy. Depakote is in pregnancy category D when used for the treatment of epilepsy or manic episodes associated with bipolar disorder. 
Pregnancy Category D is a classification given to medicines that have been shown to present a risk to the fetus in studies of pregnant women but may still offer benefits that outweigh the risks that the drug presents. A pregnancy Category D medicine may still be given to a pregnant woman if the healthcare provider believes that the benefits to the woman outweigh the possible risks to the unborn child. Depakote is in Pregnancy Category X when used for the prevention of migraine headaches. Pregnancy Category X means that the risks of taking the medication during pregnancy clearly outweigh the benefits. Medications in this category should not be taken by women who are pregnant or planning on becoming pregnant. Women who are taking Depakote for this reason and become pregnant or plan on becoming pregnant should contact their healthcare provider before stopping the medication, as it should not be stopped abruptly. Many studies have shown that Depakote may cause birth defects in humans. Sometimes, these birth defects can be very severe. Studies have also shown that children born to women who took Valproat medications during pregnancy tend to score lower on cognitive function tests, compared to children whose mothers took other epilepsy medications while pregnant. Pregnant women should not take Depakote unless absolutely necessary. However, uncontrolled epilepsy can also be dangerous to both a pregnant woman and the fetus. You and your healthcare provider must discuss the specific benefits and risks of using Depakote during pregnancy for your particular situation. If your epilepsy is very mild, you may consider stopping Depakote. However, if your epilepsy is severe or difficult to control, it may be best for you to stay on Depakote. No matter what, do not stop taking Depakote suddenly. If you and your healthcare provider decide that it is best for you to continue taking Depakote during pregnancy, you will need frequent blood tests to measure your Depakote levels. Pregnancy can affect the way your body handles the drug, and it is important to keep your dose at the lowest effective level. Your healthcare provider may suggest a higher than usual dose of folic acid, as this may also help protect the fetus. Safety for children Two children developed severe cognitive and behavioral deterioration suggestive of a degenerative disease while being treated with sodium valproate for idiopathic epilepsy. Magnetic resonance imaging revealed multiple areas of brain atrophy. In both patients, clinical symptoms and signs cleared in a few weeks once they ceased taking the valproate. The magnetic resonance imaging appearance improved within three months in one of the patients and normalized in both after six and twelve months. No metabolic changes were associated with the clinical or imaging abnormalities. Although the mechanism of this rare idiosyncratic complication of valproat therapy is unknown, we advocate discontinuing valproat therapy in all epileptic patients with neuromental deterioration or brain atrophy of unknown etiology. Mechanism of action Sodium valproat is a weak blocker of sodium ion channels. It is also a weak inhibitor of enzymes that deactivate GABA such as GABA transaminase. It may also stimulate the synthesis of GABA, but the direct mechanism is not known. Because of its many mechanisms of action, sodium valproat has efficacy in all partial and generalized seizures including absence seizures. Formulations, trade names are in bold, followed by the manufacturer. Portugal, tablets a Euro Diplexala by Bio. United States, intravenous injection a Euro Dipacan by Abbott Laboratories. Syrup a Euro Dipacan by Abbott Laboratories, Depakote tablets are a mixture of sodium valproate and valproic acid. Tablets a Euro Eliaxine by Bio. Australia, Epilim crushable tablets Sanofi, Epilim sugar-free liquid Sanofi. Epilim syrup Sanofi, Epilim tablet Sanofi, Sodium Valproat Sanders tablet Sanofi, Volpro tablets Alphapharm, Valproat Winthrop tablet Sanofi, Volpris tablet Sigma, New Zealand, Epilim crushable tablets 100 mg by Sanofi Aventus, Epilim EC modified release tablets 200 mg and 500 mg by Sanofi Aventus, Epilim syrup 200 mg per 5 ml by Sanofi Aventus, Epilim sugar-free liquid 200 mg per 5 ml by Sanofi Aventus, Epilim intravenous solution 100 mg per ml by Sanary Aventus, all the above formulations are Pharmax subsidized. UK, Depakote tablets, tablets a Euro elect by Wachhart and Epilim by Sanofi, 
Oral solution a euro electric a free by Wachhart and Epilim by Sanofi, syrup a euro Epilim by Sanofi Aventus, intravenous injection a euro Epilim intravenous by Sanofi, extended release tablets a euro Epilim chrono by Sanofi is a combination of sodium valproate and valproic acid in a 2.3 to 1 ratio. Enteric coated tablets a euro Epilim EC200 by Sanofi is a 200 mg sodium valproate enteric coated tablet. UK only, capsules a euro epicenter prolonged release by beacon, sachets a euro epicenter prolonged release by beacon, intravenous solution for injection a euro epicenter solution for injection by beacon, Germany, Switzerland, Norway, Finland, Sweden. Tablets a euro or fural by decision pharmaceuticals, intravenous injection a euro or fural for by decision pharmaceuticals, South Africa, syrup a euro convlex by Bicmadors, tablets a euro epilim by Sanofi Sint Labo, Romania, companies a Sanofi Aventis France, Gerrit Vermazutica GmbH and decision Asia Middle GmbH, types are syrup, extended release mini tablets, gastric resistant coated tablets, Gastric resistant soft capsules, extended release capsules, extended release tablets, and extended release coated tablets. Concentrations are between 150 mg and 1000 mg or 57, 64 mg per milliliter and 300 mg per 5 milliliters. Canada, intravenous injection a euro apival or epiject by Abbott Laboratories. Syrup a euro depicken by Abbott Laboratories its generic formulations include Apu Volproic and Ratio Volproic. Japan, tablets a euro depicken by Kyohako Kirin, extended release tablets a euro depicken a by Kyohako Kogyo and Selenica a by Kawa, syrup a euro depicken by Kyohako Kogyo, Europe, in much of Europe, Depokine and Depokine Chrono or equivalent to Epilim and Epilim Chrono above. Taiwan. Tablets a euro depokine by Sanofi Winthrop Industry, Israel, Depolept and Depolept Chrono or equivalent to Epilim and Epilim Chrono above. Manufactured and distributed by Sanofi Aventis. India, Russia and CIS countries, Volpal Creek by Inters Pharmaceutical, Encarade Chrono by Sun Pharmaceutical, see also, Valproat Semi-Sodium, References. External links, Chemical Land 21. Sodium Valproat, rxlist.com, D. Packen, British National Formulary Edition 58, medbroadcast.com, epival, drugs.com, Dipakan Syrup.